Das ist Tan Minmin. A very good afternoon to the Robo Club Singapore Organizing Committee, teachers, coaches, fellow participants, and supporters. I'm Tan Minmin, and today I'll be sharing about my Robo Club journey during the pandemic. But first, I'd like to thank Robo Club Singapore for providing me with this opportunity to stand in front of you today and share about how the pandemic has shaped my RoboCup journey. Here's a quick introduction about me. I'm currently a Year 4 student at Raffles Girls School Secondary and I'm really passionate about robotics, having been doing that since I was 10 years old. Since 2020, I have been participating in various RoboCup challenges, both at the national and international levels. I have participated in RCAP Code Space Rescue First Steps, RCAP Code Space Autonomous Driving, which was formerly known as Grand Prix, and RCJ Rescue Line and RCJ Soccer Lightweight. In the International Code Space Online Challenge or ICO Challenge in 2020, I participated in the RCAP Code Space Rescue First Steps UNIT lead. In short, our mission was to collect and deposit as many objects as possible. For this challenge, I was pleasantly surprised to be shortlisted for the finals and got the chance to compete against another participant from Taiwan. Even though it was my first time participating in a RoboCup challenge, it actually built my confidence in programming and developed my interest in robotics further. Later that year, I participated in the same league in the Virtual RCAP 2020. And this time, I wanted to aim higher by implementing more sophisticated algorithms, which encouraged me to start reading out on many maths concepts such as sugar number three and weighted average. I also tried programming with the C language for the first time instead of the graphical user interface, which allowed for more flexibility in coding. So after participating in Cosplay's Rescue twice, I wanted to try other leagues. So in RoboCup Singapore Open 2020, I participated in RCAP Code Space Grand Prix and the mission was to program a virtual robot to follow a line and pass through some waypoints and also overcome obstacles such as mazes, walls and ramps. So this was quite different from Code Space Rescue as I had to use a different code for each map. From this I actually achieved a third individual placing and was invited to two other challenges internationally. So they are the Tianjin Invitational Tournament 2021 and Arcade 2021 Aichi Japan. So for both of these challenges, I also got the opportunity to form super teams with participants from other countries and together we programmed robots to solve the mission. After a year-long hiatus from physical robots, my team was able to participate in the RCJ Rescue Line U19 category in RoboCup Singapore Open 2021. So we are still very much impacted by some pandemic restrictions, which resulted in many CCA sessions being online. My robust collaborative tools like Visual Studio Code and Microsoft Teams, and the fact that we could bring the field home, we were able to mitigate the challenger phase and produce a working robot. So this allowed us to achieve that in the technical challenges. And in this year's edition of RoboCup Singapore Open, I went on to participate in the RCJ Soccer Lightweight category. So thankfully, the pandemic restrictions have started to ease quite a bit and we could have more physical CCA sessions. And here we are at RoboCup Singapore Open 2022 Finals and we're ready to demonstrate our soccer robots, symbolizing how far we have all come together since the pandemic began. So if you ask me, what is one main thing that I learned from this RoboCup journey during the pandemic? Well, it is to never be afraid to try something new. So I feel that each competition has pushed me to explore the unknown, even when there are seasoned competitors out there. But that's not all. I've also worked with many different people in various RoboCup challenges, and I've also learned so much from RoboCupers all over the world in terms of their knowledge, culture, and experiences. And of course, you cannot forget all the people who have worked so hard to make all of our RoboCup journey so meaningful and memorable. I would like to thank the RoboCup Organizing Committee for providing us with so many opportunities even during the pandemic and that things so quickly to the ever-changing circumstances and restrictions. My CCA teachers and coach for guiding me. 
my CC mates who have encouraged and supported me, and everyone who has helped me in one way or another. Thank you for your kind attention and have a great day ahead. Okay, thank you, Min Min.